So let's go over some of the problems that we have to do in week 11. And uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is called the KMP algorithm or the Kunuth Morris Pratt algorithm for uh, substring search. So the goal here is to search for this substring here. And uh, what we're going to do is to build a DFA. So this is a deterministic finite automata. And as we are doing it, we are also going to be drawing the picture and also completing the transition table. So let's start with the first one. Now, obviously, we can do the transition states easily. If you get an A, you go to the next state. If you get another A, you go to state 2. If you get a C, you go to state 3. If you get an A, you go to state 4. Get another A, you go to state 5. Get another A, you go to state 6. If you get a B, that's going to be the final state. At this point, you're going to accept it. So we start from this state and keep going until the string is accepted. So in the KMP algorithm, the big idea is that we like to try to remember the patterns we have seen before. And then we'll backtrack only to that point without starting all over again. Now, we can easily do the first part of the table, the first column. If you see an A when you're in state 0, you go to state 1. So the question is, what would you do if, you're in, if you see a B or C? Now, that's clear. If you're in state 0, if you see a B or C, you will stay in state 0. Let's take a look at the next one. If you're in state 1, if you see an A, you're going to go to state 2. What would you do if you see a B or C? That's also very clear here. There's no choice that you have to go back to the state 0. So we were able to complete this table quite easily up to now. So we're just going to say these two are zeros as well. Now the next problem comes when you're in state 2. And if you get a C, you're going to go to state 3, which is good. What if you fail to go to state 3? That means but you, if you get A or B, how do you determine how much to backtrack? So let's think about this a little bit here. So you're in this state here. And if you really think about it, if you align this, the original string, which is AAC, and it seems like I can stay in state 2 because I've already seen an A here. So the, the goal here is to really think about, in order to find out where to backtrack, you, you, you have matched the straight from 1 to j, the substring or the prefix. And then in the j plus 1, you failed it. So the big thing here is that you look at the substring from 1 to j, which is this one here. And then you simulate that on the uh, finite state machine you already have. So if you go, if you simulate this on the finite state machine we have, if you see an A, you go to state 1, and that's what you do. So in other words, the, what you do with the fail state is the same as what we you do with the state 1. <coughs> so in state 1, we have this uh, 2 and 0, so we're just going to copy over these two values. Because the thing that you do with the fail is the same thing you do with the state 1. Now let's apply the same logic here. Suppose we go here and you're in state 3. If you get an A, you go to state 4, which is clear. But what if you get a B or C? What would you do? So what we do is we take the substring AC, which is from 1 to J, and then try to simulate that on the Turing uh, fine state machine here. So if you get an A, I go here. If you get a C, you go back to 0. So the whole idea here would be that what you fill in here would be very similar to what you have in state 0. Because that's what you get if you simulate AC on the fine state machine. So we're just going to copy over these two things and then write 0, 0. And at that point, you can also do now, if you want to draw these arrows now, you can say if you get an A, you're going to stay here. If you get an A, if you get a B, you're going to go to 0. If you get a C, you're going to go to 3, which is clear. Now, if you're in 3, if you get a B or C, you're going to go back to the state 0 here. And then if you get an A, you're going to jump to state 4. Let's see what happens if you fail here. Now, when you're in state 4, if you get an A, you're going to go to state 5. 
So what happens with these two entries here? So at that point, we're just going to take the string ACA and simulate that on the fine shear machine we have built so far. If you get an A, you're going to go here. If you get a C, you go back here. If you get an A, you go back here. So when you look at ACA, AC will take you to state 1. So what we need to do is to copy the state 1 into this table. So what this means is that if you get a B or C, we should jump back to the state 0. I can join this line here. Let's think about what happens here. If you get an A when you're in state 5, you will go to state 6. Now what happens if you get a B or C? Let's think about that. So at that point, I'm going to consider the substring ACAA. And then I'm going to simulate that in here. If you get an A, I'm going to go here. If you get a C, I'm going to go here. If you get another A, you're going to go here. And then you're going to go to this one. So it will be similar to state 2. So at this point, we're going to do, it will be similar to the state 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy over the state 2, which is 0, 3. And so what that means is that if you get a B, I'm going to jump back to state 0 here. So if you get a B here, but if you get a C, I'm just going to jump back to state 3. So here's the C uh, thing here. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what happens next. Uh, when you're in state 6, when you're in state 5, you will, if you're in state 6, you go to, uh, if you get a B, you're going to go to state 7. So if you get a B, I'm going to go to state 7, I'm done. What if you don't get a B? What if you get A or C? What would you do? You look at this string, A, C, A, 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 and you simulate that in your final state machine. If you get an A, you're going to go here. If you get a C, you're going to go here. Get another A, and another A, and another A. So you stay in state 2. So this means I'm going to copy over the state 2 table, which is 2 and 3, and I'm going to draw the arrows. That means if I get an A in state 6, I'm going to go back to state 2. So here's my A thing. And then if I get a C, I'm going to go back to state 3. So that's my C. And that's your fine stream machine, and that demonstrates how to build a KFA uh, DFA here.